the flex activation, uh, the duplex activation. Sorry. Okay. So in this case, you should need the help of Raymond. Raymond will provide you a tool. So for the moment, the tool is not available on our website, and we are looking for uh, to provide this tool. But uh, should be included on. It will be included on the next tool that we we'll provide. It will be much more simple. The tool that we will provide to you is to catch information, to catch an image of the printer with lots of details. With that, our RGB department is able to provide you a code to reactivate the flex, to reactivate the duplex. Sorry. Okay. That will work only if, as soon as you are provided the image, provided the information, you don't touch to the printer until we provide you the code. And if you have activated the duplex by the key, okay, it's good to provide the information when the key is inserted. If it's a production activation, it means you already, it was already a privacy duplex, okay, in this case you have no key, okay, you have just to provide the information. Okay? Yeah. Print head, I go fast because we have already talked about the print head. Okay. So now, some parts of the list. This afternoon we'll see the full list. Okay, the list is like this. Okay. So this is some information that we have already talked about, yes or no. Uh, one thing that will be good is this one, RMP to restore the manufactured parameters. So sometimes when you are lost or when you so you start to lots of things, okay, you can restore. You restore all the information, not the offsets. The offsets are not restored, but most uh, all the others are restored by default. Okay. Um, one one that is less and less, but I will just talk about this one. PM USB. Okay. By default, our system now works as USB as defined. One means that the system detects the machine itself. So here, the badge is connected to the system on the port number one. If I change the port and I connect it to the port number two, it's still the same badge, so it will not recreate a new instance. It will have the same printer. Now, if I provide a new badge, the badge the that will come in will be a copy one because yeah. it's a new one. Okay. If we use a PMB, PM USB at zero, uh, the printer is not detected as a printer, it's a port. Means if I use my port number one to connect a badge, port number two to use a primacy. So I can provide any primacy on the port number two, it will be detected as primacy, yes. always the same, not a copy. Uh, that was in the if, previous. Okay. If a uh, two printer connect at this time, so what is the result uh, when I zero? By default, it's always one. Always one. So yeah. which one connect uh, or operate? It's, uh, it's a machine that is detected. It's the same machine detected any kind of port you are using. It's the best. Because it's the best for end user. Or perhaps not for you, but for end users. Because sometimes, when we are working with a laptop, okay, but end users doesn't remember which port he used. So if he changed the port and you have a new instance, he will be in trouble because when you make five print, he will not print. Because instead of five print on the badge, you need to make five print on the badge copy one. Okay. So we manage as USB one. Now, for some specific things, but it's less and less, we have to change and we have dedicated port. But Honestly, don't use it. Oh. You can use, but very specific configurations because they should trouble you a lot of it. So, and it's less and less. It was very famous before, but now no problem. Um, the one that I have already talked is a PPS. Remember, we are talking about the driver. Okay. The fact that the driver has different modules, the fact that the printer is able to 
Send back the status. Okay. The fact that the printer is able to send the status is the PPS mode. By default, all our printers are in PPS one, means that the printer send an information to the computer. Okay. Now, when you are in the network, okay, uh, when you have multiple printers with multiple computers, I told to you that for that the minimum mode should be very important. Okay, because you reduce the numbers of information from the printer from the computer to the printer. Now, if you have multiple printers on your network, you should change the PPS mode as zero to avoid the printer to send information as well. Because if you have lots of printer, every 5,000 milliseconds, the printer sends information. So if you have 10 printers on your network, you will have a lot of traffic of information. So you can reduce and cut this by PPS mode as zero. Now, take care. Because if you put the PPS mode as zero, and you are in the normal configurations, means here you are the standard configurations, and you have a direct link as USB, for example, or internet, but you have computer to one printer. The print center will detect the printers as printers online, status disabled. disabled. If you have that, it's not, a, it's not a communication issue, it's not a mainboard issue, it's a PPS mode. So you have to restore the PPS mode at one. For that, there is a dedicated documentation on the partner website to explain you how to set. Because by the fact that you have no communication, it will be very difficult to send the command. So you can send the command by Evocom, or you can send that by the driver, but you need to set the driver for this direct communication. Sometimes uh, sometime I, I call. Um, not only the minimum mode, it's possible to do as a normal mode, but uh, there is specific things to respect. Read the documentation. Sometimes I uh, when I command the PPS one, but uh, mm -hmm. result is showing okay. But uh, P, uh, PPS uh, again showing uh, printer is online, but uh, status yeah. disabled. Now, take care because if you change the PPS mode, so if you move from one to zero or zero to one, you have to reboot the printer. Yes. You oh. have to shut down the printer and restart it. Because if you just send the command and after you read it, the, for example, it was in zero, if you make a PPS one and after you make a PPS read, the answers will be one. But it will not be taken by the system because it should be reboot. So you change, you shut down the system, and so it means you remove the power, you plug it back, and after normally, he take care of the new of the new mode. Okay. Okay. SDK. I will not talk right now about SDK. So I will move. Okay. Uh, just for your information, but we go back. Uh, I describe here so some best practice and diagnostic, but I have on the other presentations. Okay. Project mode. Uh, that is the Everest organizations, okay? In the Everest organization, we have a dedicated department that work for special project, okay? Special project is the fact that a customer would like to have a dedicated machines. Uh, so there is some parts, some drivers, specific drivers, specific firmware, specific hardware, okay? Yeah. That can be, so we study every kind of case. Okay, of course, if the customer would like to have a dedicated filler for two printers, okay, we say no. We need to have a, a number of amount of machines to be able to change some. Okay, so remember that in case of we are on a specific project, uh, in this case, the support is not, the, is not supported by the support team. It's a special project team for special project department. We will take care of that, okay? So it's very important to identify that. It's very important to, as well, if you are in touch with some salespeople, some people say, that, yes, my customer would like to do that. Okay, you can say yes or no, but in this case, 
says to them, refer to Evolis directly. Yeah. Our sales people will refer to Raymond or to our special project team to see if it's possible or not. Okay? So for the project, uh, after they've done the project, the support will still be by us, right? Ah. Normally, no. I mean, we are not supporting special project machine. Oh, I can be but, but sometimes, yes. Okay. <laughs> no. What I'm trying to say is, if you guys have projects, you know your customer have projects, projects always got codes. Codes. Give me the code name so that I, you inform me the code name so that I can inform the project team that, you know, yeah, this. Because some countries have a lot of projects, some just one project, but you must have your own reference. If not, I couldn't tell them. Because I have a case in Korea that has a project that is so specific that the option roller is different. Even themselves, they don't know it's project. It's not normal option roller. They have to, we have to uh, manufacture specially for them. Specially for them. Yeah, because they so use special cards. Um, for the cards that they use, yeah. we have diff designed a because new option if roller. you don't tell us, then we will go through one big round yeah. searching for information and the support was like, to, to find that, that roller is like more than one month. To get yeah. here, 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 here. Yeah, because we are lost. Correctly. Yeah, and the fact that the customer doesn't know, we don't know. So, it so, very so it's easy. very messy. So if you have certain projects, you know, please note the reference number. Inform us when we. When you can inform. You can inform Raymond. No problem. You can use the support at your risk. Not made. No, no problem. Okay, it's not, not a not problem. Easy. But <laughs> after, uh, our goal is to report that to the project team, yeah. and we will see if with the project team. If we keep the end on, or if the project team will keep the end on, and most of the time they keep the end, means that if because it's so specific, they know what they are mm. make of, of modifications. Either in this the, case, uh, they take the control of the support. The support. Either the is uh, if they not, or phone they tell us okay. Yeah. Well, there is this kind of specification, yeah. but you can do it because okay. sometimes it's firmware, sometimes it's. Hardware, sometimes drivers, so yeah. all depends. Yeah. yeah. Okay, RMA. We already talked yeah. yesterday about RMA, but just okay to remember RMA. Any hardware that you have to return to a Roman have need to have a RMA number. Any. Okay. What is important is that when you create the RMA number. Okay, you should wait the validations. So means that you should wait the fact that you receive a mail to say now the RMA number is validated before sending it. Raymond can refuse the RMA number if there is no enough details. Okay, I don't know if you have refused some, but you remember that oh, yes. you, can, you, can re you can refuse. Okay, now remember that the RMA, the send of the RMA is at your charge, okay? Remember, I don't know if it's right here on the second pages, okay, it's perhaps on the first pages. Remember that if you send a printer, you should send the printer on the original box. And uh, we don't care about the serial number, okay? When we say an original box, it means that if it's a Xenius, you have a Xenius box not the primacy box. It's very important because our box are designed linked to the printer, to the shape of the printer and designed to support the delivery. Okay? So please don't send the printer on a banana box. Yeah, that's funny because lots of people laughing when I do that and when I talk about that. But it's a reality. We have already received a printer in a banana box. You see the banana box? Okay, it's a carton. They put the printer in the carton. Like this. No protection, nothing. And they send the printer. In the banana box. Yeah. yeah. Like this. So, can you... No banana here. 
Can, can you imagine how the printer will arrive? Oh. Ask me to repair. No, we not repair. <laughs> is, the, is the printer arriving on a banana box no. like this? No. Of course, it's impossible to repair because it was completely destroyed. Okay. So, it's very important okay, to use the box. Now, in case of, in case of you send the printer, uh, not in a banana box, but in the, in the correct box, but it's not the original one, we send back to an original one, so we charge you of a box. I don't know if you remember that, that. Yeah, but yeah, in yeah. Europe we charge. We charge 50 yes. euros, so uh, equivalent of 60 or 65 US dollars. Do you have any charge for a delivery charge? No, for a new box. Only for a new box. If you don't send in the If you don't provide us, send us the printer on the original box, when we have repaired the system and when we send back, we send on a new box and we charge of the new box. And you also charge this is for the shipping cost, yeah? From uh, the you, customer. the charge of the shipping is at your charge and after we have the charge of the chip back. Oh, when you send to us, it's with you. We send back, it's to us. Yes. If it's under warranty. You have just to pay one way. If it's under warranty. Too important, huh? So, okay. Some things as well. So, you can, as we explained yesterday, you can put on the box different parts. You can, for example, send a box with 10 print head. As soon as each print head has its own RMA number, and in this case, on the top of the box, you, s you specify all the RMA number, and inside it's clearly identified. Okay? When you send the uh, the the system, okay. Raymond received when he received he automatically a knowledge of the system. So by this, the system will automatically send a mail to say we have received your RMA and we are taking care. If it's a part, we will automatically, if it's under warranty, apply you a credit note. We don't send you back the material. It means if you provide a print end, if you print provide. Uh, magnetic options, if you provide a feeder, we don't sell you, we don't send you a new feeder. We provide you a credit note. And with the credit note, you can buy a new one. Okay? If, if it's a printer, okay, the printer will be received and we will repair it and we'll send it back, the printer. We'll send it back with a report to notice what we have done. If it's not under warranty, we make an estimation and you have a delay to validate the estimations. And the so last one is for out of warranty printers. <coughs> yeah. uh, the last point there, out of warranty printers, if you want me to repair, I will charge you a lot more. <laughs> yeah, depends on the work done. Besides the parts, the work done, you also have to bear all the shipping costs. How you count this is the out of warranty, like one year to my Bangladesh, somebody buy it from you? Buy two months after two months? No, no. Customer. One year plus two. Customer. I want to return for like a other generic, the other customer return for the summer level, like 30 days for the back day. If customer return. Okay. One when, when, when we are complaining about RNA case, who, um, how is the processing on? Oh, all? Oh, no. Let's separate issue by issue. Huh? Okay. Okay. What he's asking is the warranty terms. What we, our standard is as long as we deliver to you, plus two. Yes, two. Plus two. Yes. Months. That's it. For the second question. One year you do it to me with two, like 14 months, right? 14. Yes, two and one. Two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this customer bought from me this machine, then he uh, lost something and he returned it for uh, mm -hmm. service, mm -hmm. something. Yeah. So, and this end of this 14 month, mm -hmm. then I have to re uh, return to you, need like uh, more one month? No, you so can do your own service, but you have to inform the customer is out of warranty. So you charge the customer is, how you charge the customer is up to you. But your warranty, your parts cannot be claimed. 
you charge the customer, you buy from us, is how you, you know, support the customer. But the warranty is on the spare part. I give it to the warranty to customer. I also give it to the warranty to customer. But yeah, it's your customer, it's yeah. not our customer. <laughs> yeah, you, are, you are our yeah. customer. So after you do what you want with your now how you customer. charge your customer is up to you. If it's, it's your customer, it's not our yes. customer. You see what I mean? Uh, yeah. it's I know it's nothing and it's complicated. But, um, I know that we are talking about customer, but we 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 make business with you yeah. and not with your end users yeah. or end customer. So after it's matter of you. You are you are in the middle, so your position is not very good. I know. But it's your management, okay? So we trust that you do your best to satisfy all, per all persons, and we try to do our best to satisfy all persons. Now we have a contract with you, and the contract is one year plus two, okay? After, you have to manage your contract with your end users. Yeah, my end But users. You, you are lucky because we are managed one year plus two. That Some other good. company yeah. just manage one year. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's why you have to manage your own stock, the supply itself. Supply and demand is on your end. How you manage? Who is working with this machine? Me and my customer. How many? Who working with the machine? Me and my customer. Your customer. My customer. Your, your customer. Yeah, my customer means your customer. No, there is change. No. change. No, whatever is the problem, no. Who is the problem getting from them? Yeah, but we are yes. here to support you, not your customer. That's why we give you one year plus two, yeah. additional two months. I I, I I have a question. Okay, what is your brand of your your fridge? Our fridge? Yeah. One like is close to my shop. It's very close. Okay, but what is the brand? Brand is the uh, Samsung. Okay. Did you call or send your fridge if you have an issue to Samsung? It's not possible. Why? Because it's heavy. What is the warranty that Samsung will apply to resellers, or what is the warranty that you have regarding your shop round of your corner? Actually, it's a very complicated question, but it's. Thank you. It's the same. Thank you. It's very complicated. It's, and it's the same. Only. We are manufacturer, okay? And there is multiple end users all around the world using our product. We cannot support all these end users. That's the reason that we trust you, we trust the market with you. So we are in contact with you, okay, for our dedicated contract, and you are managing your end users. So it's a matter of you manage your end users and we manage you. We offer you two months more. After, you do what you want with your end users. If you would like to charge him, or if you would like to be happy, you can why not offer him an extension of the warranty for free? It's your business. I don't care. If you would like to apply a warranty of three years, it's your business, it's not my business. Me, my business is I have a product, the Badgy. For me, the Badgy is one year and I offer you two months more. After, you do what you want. But it's the same for Samsung, for iPhone, for all products is the same. Okay, you're never complaining directly to the manufacturer. You are complaining to the reseller. And you are reseller. Sorry for you. Mm. Now, we have some free job in the police. If you would like, you can come. It's it's pleasure. Pleasure. So, okay. coming back on your RMA. Yes. The RMA process, whenever you send me RMA, yes. okay, we will process it with the serial number to check whether it's under warranty. Those that is not under warranty, please don't raise RMA. I will certainly really reject because it's out of warranty. Nah, uh, no, 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 I'm explaining everything. <laughs> you don't ask us. So, if once I accept it, check based on your serial number, accept it, I will validate it, then you will receive whatever emails, uh, like what Philip said. Then you can send me the parts. So, when you send me the parts, for example, the parts, from here I won't see the physical parts, right? Yeah. So when the physical parts reach to me, then we will check. I will check whether is it physical damage, genuine damage, or is it you know for different faults. If your heads like what stated, if it's a uh, impact, it's our warranty, right? So 
I will still void it. Yeah. If it's within the warranty terms, then I will process internally. We have our internal process. So once we process, we will create an in, in interval report. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Myself will create a report to send to you. Right? Mm. We will create a report to say that, yeah, this part has been processed and is uh, under warranty. Right? Mm. Next will be Savior sending you a credit notes for this part. So individual parts will be processed like that. Okay? Uh, understand, right? No problem. Okay? Ah, what's up? So the flow is this way. What's, what's, what's your question? If machine is also worldwide warranty, someone is buy got the paint in Singapore, in Bangladeshi people caring about there, and some problem come to me. I, I, I don't have to. Do There's this. no international no warranty. Huh? Not no warranty. international warranty. Okay. It's all managed by your own itself. Only yes. my one. Hmm? My customer is my my one. Hmm. Yeah. Not so our zone. Not my yes. One. Zone zone by the zone. I got it. That's why the ribbon. Zoning. Oh, ribbon it doesn't work in Bangladesh uh, about the No, yeah, it works. Work. No, zoning. As in Asia, zoning. Is our region. region. Asia Pacific region. Asia is Asia. 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 Europe is Europe. Europe is USA. Europe. Ah, America is America. Different. There's yes. Different. Even China ribbon cannot use other That is places. quality difference or is code number? No, no, it's the same. Quality is same. It's the same. As code number is different. It's the same, yes. It's just the fact that we split the market and coming to the currency. That's okay. all. Okay. So, okay. One thing is more. When you send a printer, because the printer is not working. Okay. Remember that is not enough. Not working. It's not enough. Okay. So you send a printer because I don't know the quality is poor. Okay. Send the Specific. the information that you have already done with the printer are oh, the best. Most of the time is you have already contact Raymond, so you have a ticket number. So you can refer the RMA to the ticket number to say, okay, I provide you this RMA number, is referred to the ticket number, the support ticket number, na 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 na. Then when you send the printer, take benefit that you send a box with everything, the printer, the ribbon, the cards, if you have. But the power supply, because if it's a power supply, because we have re already received some printers that are not working, at least when we use and test the machine, it's working very well. It's normal because it was a power supply issue. But if the customer doesn't provide the power, power yes, okay. we cannot defect it. As well, sometimes we have like printing issue, quality printing issue. The customer never provide ribbon or cards. So we take our ribbon, we take our card, no problem. Yeah. So take benefits to send a printer to put inside the maximum of information. Sometimes, even if by, by mail, you can provide the card. But if you don't unlight what is the issue, sometimes for us, we cannot see the issue. I mean, that sometimes arrive by mail. Some people take a picture and send the picture to me and say, look, I have a default on the card. I look at the picture first, the, the picture is very bad quality, so I'm not able to see what is the issue. And I don't know if the issue is the fact that the, the quality of the picture is bad or the print is bad. Okay? So it's the same here when you are create RMA, take benefits that you send a box to send the maximum of information inside. So if you have blank card, if you have card already printing with the default, provide to remain Remember, but in this case, go fast to analyze the issue and to solve. So remember, the goal is to be efficient. You have lots of customers to manage. You have not only every brand. The goal is to go fast. Us, we have only, we are working only Everest, okay? But we have multiple and resellers, so we need to go fast as well. To go fast is to be efficient. To be efficient is to send all the information that we need require, okay? The goal is to maintain that three days, three business days for the classical, for the uh, different product, six business days for the normal product, 
and 10 days for the Avancia, but you will understand why. Tomorrow we'll dismount the Avancia, and you will understand why we need 10 days to repair an Avancia. Normally, that in the future could be reduced. Yeah, we have a one target to reduce this one at one day, this one at four days. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Oh, in Europe. Perhaps oh, in Europe. Europe. Okay, must <laughs> emphasize in Europe. Okay. But perhaps you, you can. I'm Not quite possible. sure. I'm quite sure that sometimes you reduce, you can reduce it. No possible. But depend on the volume. No. The goal is first to maintain that. Okay. And to finish with that, so remember that we have different training sessions. Currently, you are here. Okay? This is the first level of training. Okay? Where we cover all the game of the brand, okay? Or the printer with general information. In maximum, in two years, you will be here. Okay? A renewal is to refresh your mind on some point, to go further on some point, and to see the new product. Sometimes we have to dedicate it as dedicated training because you, some resellers have not used all the brand. They are focusing on, edit, on EDQ, for example. So they would like a dedicated training only for EDQ. Or they would like to have a dedicated training for them and their resellers. Okay, they are distributor to have the minimum information for the distributor. So in this case, we can create a dedicated training form. Okay, and we have some specific training. Okay, like for example the premium SDK, or linked to some specific product like the core, like the Prevalio. Okay, which are dedicated training. So training is large. This one is to get what to call the ERC training. ERC training, you are following the ERC training. So you will be ERC validated. Now, by the fact that you, your technician, you are a technician, have the ERC validations, your company may have, I say may have because after it's not always the case, okay? May have, but that is a decision of the salespeople to validate your companies as ERC, every repair center. The advantage of your company is very important. They have the logo, they have some dedicated service, but they have a discount on the spare part. All people look at that, but they have an obligation. You have is to do your job regarding your end users, your customer. Everis is not in charge of your customer. Don't ask Raymond to contact your customer. No. You manage your customer and Raymond manage you. If you, for any reason, you want to make some manipulations on the customer site, you take control of your customer, and why not Raymond will take control of your of laptop, and he will show you or explain you what you have to do, but we we'll never be in contact directly with your end users or your end customer, because it's your charge, more if you are in ERC. I have already some company that because their technicians are off, give directly our phone number to their own users. So we have end users calling us. Yeah. So I say, so I cannot say no, I will not help you because we are support, but we help the end users at least, but after we charge the company and it's normal because the company doesn't do the job. Yeah. I, will, I have finished, yeah. more or less. 
Okay? So ERC is very important. It's very important for you, but it's very important for us. Um, uh, forget the phone number. It's a French phone number. <laughs> Uh, remember. Yeah. It's but remember that the email address is yeah. always the same. All around the world, we say use the same email address. Don't use uh, the Raymond email address. Don't use my email address. It's support. Remember that we have already talked about that. The system details is a txt file that contains all the information. Okay. Scans of car of files. PRN or log file. PRN file is easy to produce. BMP file and so on. Very easy to produce, like the system details. If we have that and that, wow, we gain lots of time. Okay? All details, the maximum of information. It's better to have much more information than less information. Okay? Important. Remember that the goal is to solve the issue after three minutes. It will be good for Raymond, it will be good for you, it will be good for your end users and customer because the customer will be happy. And if it's happy with your support, with your product, means our product, it will continue to work with you and with our, with our product. Okay? Good. Let's go for the next time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.